The next step is to smoke and cook the hot dogs. Here we see a smoke truck with the two types of hot dogs. The pink ones are the no nitrite added ones at this point in time, and the grayer brown ones are the ones with added sodium nitrite. The smokehouse has computer controls which allow us to control the steam, heating, airflow during hot dog smoking and cooking. The hot dogs will be cooked to a final internal temperature of 74 degrees Celsius. During the cooking steps there is a smoking step and here either natural wood will be smoldered to produce smoke or a liquid smoke preparation can be atomized on the hot dogs. After the hot dogs have reached a final internal temperature of 74 degrees Celsius, they will be cooled with cold water and then removed from the smokehouse. The next step will be peeling the hot dogs and then vacuum packaging. In a commercial operation, they would use a mechanical device for peeling. However, we're using hand labor here. Now that the hot dogs are cooked, there's actually a reversal in which ones are pink and which ones are brown. The nitrite added sausage now shows the classic cured pink color and now uh, a more gray brown color of the no nitrite cured sausage. In commercial hot dog production, the peeling stage is actually a critical one to ensure food safety and can also be a point of recontamination. Thus, it's always recommended that hot dogs are recooked before consumption. <music>